Hey guys, come here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my favorite topic. Uh, we, we're going to talk about the absence of uh, man board, or I call the motherboard. <laughs> that shows my, shows my age. We're going to focus on the wiring of the motherboard. Uh, so where those wires come from, uh, what those wires for, how can we uh, correctly attach them to the motherboard, oh, man board. I was a computer programmer, um, master degree in computer science from University of Illinois. And uh, just recently, I started uh, picking up uh, electron engineering. Uh, I feel electron engineering is more fascinating because, uh, you know, programming, you're kind of uh, doing things you don't see it, but uh, the double E, you actually see the things that uh, you program. It's really cool. Uh, we're going to use a CD16 mainboard. Everything is clearly labeled. Uh, the R is resistor, C is capacitor, and the C is the connection. So today we're going to focus on the connection. So you can see there's a CN73, so that's connection 73. Also, it tells you the uh, contact points color. YE is yellow, so you need to uh, put a yellow plug here. CN73 is for the EDF the solenoid. Just below it is uh, CN32 white, and that's for the scanner's motor. CN33 is the ADF motor. CN30 is the CR motor, cartridge, cartridge motor. And the CN71 is for your ADF encoder and the ADF dock sensor. And, seven, and CN70 is the FFC cable to the scanner. Remove the ground wires and you should be able to take the scanner off. Okay, not many things left after we took out the scanner. And uh, now we're going to remove this uh, big SEN20, which is the buzzer and uh, the LED panel. This uh, SEN53 is the sensor if the door is open or not, the door trigger. Uh, in the back of the, uh, the motherboard, you get a connection 41, 42, and 43. 41 and 42, they are uh, connect to the printhead, one cable for each side. And then 43 is for the reading of the ink chip level. And this really long, uh, thin cable is for the star wheels, or called pizza wheels, which has the photos, the photo ink sensor, PS sensor. It goes to CN45. And this wireless card connect to CN9. Oh, by the way, uh, the power goes into CN51. That's why you see so many capacitors and inductors near it. Connection 44 is going to run a long cable, connect to a relay card, and goes to your maintenance box. This CN5 goes to your fax module. CN52 goes to the infamous P module, the P sensor. This is uh, where the fake paper jams come from. The CN51 is for the paper feed PF encoder. And uh, CN55, the black one, is for detecting the first cassette and see if the tray is inserted or not. And uh, down below 56 is the detecting the second, uh, uh, the second tray. CN30 uh, goes to the motor that's moved the uh, printhead around, the CR, the CR motor. CR54 goes to the pickup encoder. Uh, that's connect to the motor that uh, uh, pick up the paper and spin it to the upper deck. And uh, the motor is car is powered by this CN34. And the uh, CN31 goes to the PF motor, the page feed motor. Okay, I can't believe I made it under five minutes. I hope this is a good reference for your project. I'm going to go a little bit deeper in the next few videos. Uh, I'm going to dig inside that their encoder, including how to program encoders. And uh, eventually, you can make a DTG or any kind of printer you want. Cheers.